Alrighty, folks. My name is my Master. Welcome back to all the mods. Hey, we're playing a modified version of it, and today we're gonna go over kind of the next uh, part of our storage system. Uh, we're not gonna go too hard into it because it's not a huge amount of stuff to show off. Um, I did get a lot of our stuff sorted. So, like upstairs, we go upstairs. You'll notice we only have those two chests left. These are our like farming chests, basically. So we have, you know, our potatoes and stuff, and then also our wood and whatnot. So all these materials, they are our farm materials. We'll integrate them into our storage eventually, but we are at a bit of a resource constraint, so we're not going to do that quite yet. And the, re the resource constraint I'm talking about is iron. Uh, a lot of these storage chests, to upgrade them, require eight iron per chest, and then eight gold per chest, and then eight diamonds, so on and so forth. Um, it's super expensive. So to upgrade our chests, we're gonna need a lot of materials. And I think we're gonna set up a quarry. Uh, I don't know if we'll do it today. I'm hoping we'll do it today. I really need it done by today. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so we're gonna try to do that after we finish our storage off. And uh, yeah, so for storage wise, uh, everything is down here now. So we have just this stuff left. As you can see, there's only four chests of stuff not sorted, which is nice. And I added way more chests. So we just had this last time. I added all these as well as all of these as options. Um, and we should be able to send to all of them because that's one pedestal, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight links worth of chests basically. So we should have plenty of, of options for storage here. Uh, yeah, all right. So having said all that, uh, I set up more, more, more tags. Uh, so we have basically seeds, saplings, uh, dye colors. I don't know how many dyes we we'll really have, but I, I have it. Uh, this is a lot of like miscellaneous stuff. So like mine colonies, compostables. So anything that's compostable will go in here. Uh, that includes rotten flesh. Uh, what else will go in here? Um, flowers, I believe, will go in here as well. A lot of plant life material stuff, leaves and whatnot. Actually, I think leaves would go in with the saplings. Or maybe, no, maybe leaves will go in here. I can't remember. But yeah, so just a lot of like the plant life stuff will go in here. So, uh, and then over here, we have glass and glass panes, potion bottles. So anything that's a potion should go in here. Uh, and then we have two set aside for just uh, enchanted books, basically. So either regular books or enchanted books will all go in these last two chests. So that's kind of how the tags are getting finished out here. Um, as far as storage goes, I actually added to here uh, some stuff for chests, some stuff for furnaces and workbenches. Uh, we forgot ladders and doors in our initial tag thing, so I added those. Oh, and trap doors as well. Um, so I added all those tags there, and I think that about sums up all the different changes. Today, though, I want to go over mod filtering. Mod filtering is kind of similar to tag filtering uh, in its own way. And actually, let's look at this. So if I, how our storage system works, for those of you who maybe didn't see last episode or, or got confused, maybe, uh, we have this pedestal linked to a few other pedestals. So as you can see, uh, after our server reboot, this is the uh, fourth connection. So blue box means first connection, and then three lines means add three. So this is the fourth connection to that pedestal. And that is kind of what's dumping all of our like unsortable stuff. Um, and then from there, we have a blue box with two uh, lines. This is what I set up off camera. Um, and this is the third connection, so this is doing all that. The second connection is this guy with one line. And then the first connection is this guy with no lines. So that's first, second, third connection. These are like parents to their eight children. So if I click on this, you'll see this is the eight different children. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's kind of the nice little a nice little render. I think at some point I might try to do numbers for all these, but um I do like the blue box as well when it when it works like this. So So yeah, that is kind of how the different connections work. Um is Um, so yeah, so this guy sends to the other connections and that's kind of how the sorting system works. And the other connections send to their children and their children are like the like super specific like storage. And so 
um, mod filters work the exact same way. Uh, we will need glass for this. Luckily, in a previous episode, we made one of these. And I do have... This is the last of my iron that I have, basically, so... Yikes. And because the sorting system is a little bit slow, I am just manually throwing it in here. I do at some point need to make a way to get uh, lots of leather, and I'm thinking I'm going to go this route. Actually, we could probably do this today yet, because I might have... Uh, was that being in here? That is in here. Actually, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's use our system to make this right now. Uh, so I have that. I need two pistons, which I don't think got sorted. Um, I will at some point make a chest to do the sorting for this. Uh, yep, there they are, two pistons. What else am I needing for this? Uh, four iron and a redstone. So we got a dust, and then four iron. We're gonna make this right off the bat. Boom. Nice. And then the compactor is two more pistons. Uh, oh, two pressure plates, and then four iron and the other thing. So. Uh, one of those, four of those, and then four stone, which should be hold on here. I must I must check something. It's supposed to go in here, isn't it? What is on here that would make stone go here? Uh, maybe I screwed up the... Uh, I may have screwed up the filter one time and put stone in here somehow. I don't like it. We're going to fix that right now because that's going to bug me really bad. Uh, it's such a little thing, but it's still going to bug me a lot. Uh, yeah, I think a trap chest should be fine. I don't need to modify the parent filter because it's just the child that's wrong. Um, so this comes out, then we're going to go stone, yeah. Oh, it's the stupid stone materials tag. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, okay. What if... You know what? I have a solution for this that's easier than what I was thinking. It's just to swap the priority of the two, basically. So this will then sort here, and this will sort here. So these two chests will flip, basically, which is fine. But that way stone, mat stone itself will go up, and stone other stone materials will go down. Um, so I will flip these two inventories, basically. Uh, which I will have to do this to do, probably. Oops, I want that back. Kind of a silly way to, to flip things, but it will work for what we're doing. And then this way... I can... A very silly way to, to do this, but that is how the priority system kind of works. And then, because I, I know technically all these are sorted there. Cool. Okay. Uh, we will then make this next machine real quick. Boink. And boink. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we've got two, two awesome machines. I do need a uh, energy source. I think we'll just make another iron furnace. Which is five iron. That's not too bad of a recipe. Okay. And then just another furnace which should be in here. So iron furnace, go. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Shoot. Dang, dang it. All right. Uh, I don't. I, that will probably go in the unsortables. I imagine. Crap! I did not mean to make that furnace. Uh, oops. Hmm. 
And let's go here to there. Nice. Okay. Okay, so this will be our iron furnace, and I'm going to use this as a generator again. So I believe I need the uh, augment. So we'll do... I need this one, which is just coal, stone, paper, and redstone. And then also probably this one, which is a redstone thinger. Uh, more stone, paper, and redstone. Okay. I should have the redstone thing. Maybe. I know I have one in here somewhere. All right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. I just needed one of those, right? Yeah, okay. Do I need legit coal, or is this any coals? No, I need legit coal. Okay, that is... Okay, legit coal. I don't remember how much redstone I need. We're gonna just take all of it. I need eight stone. Uh, uh, oh, is that still in here, maybe? Yeah. Eight stone. Oh yeah, paper. The one thing that we actually use quite a bit in pedestals, and I think that is now in here. Yep. Cool. Boom. Nice. Okay. So that's uh, easy to do that, and easy to do that. Nice. And then because I'm lazy, I'll just throw that in there, and that in there, and that in there. Cool. Got a generator. Uh, ooh, where do I want to put said generator? Let's throw this for now. Let's just throw this on this floor. Um, I don't know if I want to do any prettification stuff. We probably will at some point. So I'm going to do that here. Throw those two upgrades in. And I'll go up here and see how much lava we got left. Not much, but I am going to take that fuel anyway. And we're going to do that. Yeah. And then I think we're going to throw a pedestal on top of there. And we're going to color that red, I think, would be a nice color. Yeah, we'll, we'll color that red. Uh, there's my offhand. Boop, red pedestal. Got to love auto coloring. That's fun. All right, so that will then... Oh, yeah, then I got an open config... Auto outputs, and then input output. Cool. So that will all go on the pedestal now. And then these guys, these are my machines. So we're gonna set them. Actually, what do we have for cable options? Pedestals are not super great as a cable. But they are decent at transmitting energy, at least. Uh, like, wirelessly around the base. Okay, this is all cable facade crap. Alrighty, we're looking for energy cables, maybe. I was thinking maybe nitro cables would work, but I did a little testing and they don't for some reason. Uh, which is interesting, because it's like, I'm pretty sure they should work. Don't we have pipes on here? Like the, like, pi app pipes? Yeah, yeah, we do. What are these? Energy pipe. Okay. So, six iron, a bunch of redstone. That's not... Uh, it sucks. It's a sucky recipe. But it's not, like, horrific. I guess. It could it could be a lot worse. I might just take the whole stack. Because we need, like, what, two blocks of redstone for this? Totally didn't make the other cables uh, off camera. Nope, totally didn't do that. <laughs> uh, so I made the other cables, tried to use them, and may have a nearly burnt down my house in the process of breaking a pedestal, letting the energy discharge on me, because I'm like, ah, it just spawns a lightning bolt, no big deal. Lightning bolt hit my house and started everything on fire. So, yeah, we're, doing, you're, we're using different cables now, because partly because of that, but not entirely. Um... For whatever reason, the other cables were not sucking up our, the energy into our... Oh, I need a wrench, don't I? Two flint, two sticks. 
that should be in there in here. And bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this should be disabled here. I don't want. I don't want energy going here. Boom. Okay. Then I think we want to do that. So it sucks up energy, and it does seem like it is sucking energy, which is good. And then it should be putting it in. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Cool. All right. Uh, other log type. Oh, I do have some more planks. Let's use these to actually do that. Still need to replace my floor just a little bit. <laughs> it's uh, looks in a little open. All right, well, not completely fixed yet, but we're getting there. Okay, cool. Anywho. Uh, ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee machine. All right, there we go. There's the other machine we, we, we made. So how this will work here is we have a dissolver. This will dissolve stuff like rotten flesh, for example. And then with the rotten flesh, once it's dissolved, we'll see that it gives us protein. Protein, if we go over here and hit uses on protein in JEI, you can see we can make all sorts of meat out of this. I mainly after the leather. Um, so this is our leather conversion. So one rotten flesh makes one leather, which is not a bad recipe. It does take a little bit of energy to do this, but we are getting leather out of it. So now, uh, now that we're getting leather, we can actually process, uh, well, not process, we can make item frames, which is what I'm after here. And the reason for the item frames is we just set up storage, and I don't have any way to really tell what's in each chest. And it would be really nice if we could. So let's grab that, do one of these things, and do that. And now, I can go boom, 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 and then a representative item is like, okay, this was our stone chest. So I want uh, stone on here, boom. And this is our cobblestone chest, or dirt, or whatever. And then this is our log chest. And then this is our like stick chest. Oh, I do see cobblestone in here, that's interesting. Uh, what should I put on here? I guess sticks are a fine item. Six. So yeah, there we go. Now we have chests for all that, and I can keep labeling them, basically. And this will be super helpful for the mod filters that we're going to get into here. So I believe the glass should be done smelting. Yeah. And how many mod filters are we going to need? That's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 24, 25, 20, well, actually 24, uh... 28, 32, so half of that will be used. I'm gonna need a lot more sticks though. Two, three, four. That is the one thing with uh, the pedestal filters is they require a lot of sticks. Not that sticks are hard to get, but yeah, a lot of sticks used. I guess I don't need all that many. Boom, there we go. That should be enough to... Are these not quite the same? How are these not the same? There we go. Weird weird little glitch, I guess. Uh, glass has its own chest now. I can wor not worry about that. That's going to fill up quick. Okay, we really need to get that sorted. Okay, so, mod filter. The fun part. So I'm thinking... Well, actually what I'm thinking is, I think all these chests will be mod filtered, as well as maybe these as well. I don't, I think these will be also mod filtered. So I guess we can start here. And I think probably how we're going to start out is we are going to do like pedestals as a mod filter thing, like one of our first things. I mean, we are using the mod for heaven's sakes. So I thought eh, it wouldn't be all that bad to do this this way. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just throw these in here. So that will be our little item that we're going to use. So, uh, or the icon that we're going to use for here, basically. So yeah, how mod filter works, it's it's actually very similar to tag filter. Very, very similar. 
Okay, back to our chest, uh, our chests. Okay, so again, we're gonna do two chests here. We're gonna do one for like a parent, one for a uh, child. So the ch the first child we're gonna have <laughs> is we're gonna have a uh, pedestal filter one. Ooh, actually, do I have pedestals back here already set up? I do not. Okay, let's set up the pedestal here first, I guess. So similar to tags, uh, we want a parent filter. Let's give it, do I not have like purple or something? Let's find me some dye colors now that I have a dye chest. Let's do those. Give me purple. Uh, what about bone meal? Does purple and that make a color? It does not, okay. What about green? Ooh, I also have white as a color. I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, and can I apply this directly to a pedestal? I forget. Uh, offhand? Yeah, I, I can I can assign it offhand color. Cool. And then let me save that to my, my thinger. So we'll offhand the purple dye. Save that. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. Oops, not what I want to do. Let's save that color. We got one more option here for coloring, so let's do that. It's not a bad color either. Hell. And let's put our dyes back. Cool. Okay, so we have a few more options for colors here. Uh, yeah, let's do this nice green color for our next set of filters. Uh, back here, we'll just do this. And then we will do the offhand again. So offhand, the t or uh, backwards linking tool. Select that as location, offhand it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight links. We can now clear it, and I'm gonna switch it back to the regular linking tool. Uh, again, just to re recap, this will all this will connect all of these in priority priority order is top to bottom, top to bottom. So that is the priority order there. And then here, this will be pedestals. We then also have Maulib and Crystal Blocks. So I'm thinking, okay, so this is the parent chest. Um, so Maulib uses the color applicator. Oh yeah, I didn't actually use up these colors, did I? I did not, boom, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, so Maulib and Crystal Blocks in the Creative tab appear this in the same tab. So I'm just gonna do it this way. And when I set this filter, uh, both of those will be like that. And then we'll put that there. And then, okay, so that's Pedestals Maulib. Effect Scrolls is another one. Do I have any effect scrolls items yet? I don't think I do. I don't think I do at all. I don't. I could potentially make one. Actually, this is probably the easier one to make, although I need the die for that. Shoot. Okay, yeah, let's make this. This is pretty easy to make. It's just a crystal stone slab, which is just some crystal block stuff. So, okay, let me grab this. And then, is it uh, one, two, three. Yeah, that'll work. Pew. Bonk. Got some slabs. And then I need some stone slabs. Ah! I guess it's fine, I'll just leave it as is. It's gonna bug me, but I'll I'll put up with it. There we go. Crystal blocks. Uh we'll we'll, we'll use this later, I'm sure. Okay, so I'll put this back. Uh offhand that, set the filter there. Do that. Crystal blocks. Or effect scrolls rather, my bad. Alright, so that is kind of my fil my filtered pedestal stuff already. Uh this goes there. This goes, I might still need that though. These go here. 
All right, so now we want other mod filters. So we'll just sort this chest real quick. And the first one is Ars Nouveau. So let's pick up maybe this. Actually, do we have Sourceberry? Ah, Sourceberries are a food. Who would have thought? All right, so we're gonna take that out. Uh, put that in, plunk. All right, so now we have Ars Nouveau as our first other mod here. Sort, nice. Then, alrighty folks, we are back. I think I've just finally got the rest of our mod filters done. Finally, 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 finally. Um, and yeah, I think I just linked up that purple, that, not purple, pink one. So I think that is the last of our filters done there. Yep, the pink one's linked, cool. Okay, so at this point, what is next? Now we have our last, our eighth pedestal, which is our last pedestal. And I'm just gonna link this one automatically. This one is gonna be no filter. So this is all of our unfilterable stuff that we have, basically. So let's go last, boom. And then if we try to link this one, which is a ninth pedestal, it should not link. It should mean, yep, max connections rates, cool. So this guy is uh, no longer needed for our stuff. All right, so yeah, what do you do when you get to the last connection? Uh, a, I don't filter mine because that means that everything else here we can filter without using either tags or mods. Um, and the reason why I do this at the end is because things like, okay, if I had like an item filter, like an item stack filter, for example, this only filters for what is in the item stack filter. So if I also wanted to use another filter called um, an is food filter, which is here, uh, I can't use an is food, food filter and an item stack filter the, if they're incompatible. So I would have to either A, filter for all the different foods I have, or B, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> so if I leave the last parent pedestal blank, it will then filter by a priority. So if it can send it, it will send it basically. Uh, so I think how that, that, that's how that we're gonna do uh, this from now on. So the rest of our stuff, I'm thinking, I'm gonna do an is, is food filter, which is just a piece of bread with uh, a filter. So we're gonna do one, two, three. Blunk. Um, I do need more sticks. Bonk. Okay. And I got that already. Cool. Plunk. Boom, boom. Boom. Is food. Okay. So this will allow us to transfer food in here. And then this guy is the first one that was linked, if I remember correctly. Yep. Um, so we're going to do is food there. So now, uh, food. So any, any unfilterables, if it's a food, it will go there first. Then from that point, uh, if for some reason we have enchanted stuff that makes it to this point, it, we shouldn't. Uh, but if we do, we have an is enchanted filter. So then I want to filter out all the enchantable stuff. So we'll do that there. And now we're kind of up to whatever we have left. So I could sort by all sorts of stuff. And in fact, I don't have to use just chest. I could say use a a drawer system instead of a chest. So if I had a drawer controller, I could use that as a, another pedestal instead of a chest. Um, but I don't know yet. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Cause I'm kind of out of out of mod stuff. I think I might just leave the rest of them blank. And then if we do need to sort them at a later date, we can. Um, I could put mod filters on them. I could put other tag filters on them. It doesn't really matter. It's just, it's just whatever we want to do at this point. So I think that is the end of our filtering uh, woes, if you will. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to load up this chest full of junk. And uh, it's going to do, actually, yeah, yeah, because I already checked if that one was invalid, so I can't transfer. Okay. So, yeah, basically everything that is other junk will go into those junk chests. And what I might end up doing later is, like, redstone components, like dispensers and pistons and stuff. I might end up putting all those in one chest. 
Uh, just kind of, however the cookie crumbles here at the end, is kind of how we'll do that. So, yeah. So now I wait for the slow process of watching everything get sorted properly into its respective places. Now that everything should have should have a home, uh, I think Looter is the one that still doesn't technically have its own dedicated home. But I don't know, like, what does Looter mod even? It has just the one thing, so it's like I don't need a chest just for that, you know. Uh, it should be fine by itself, so I'm not I'm not too terribly worried about that. Uh, but yeah, so I guess as we go throughout the rest of our episode, or maybe even off stream, I'll kind of throw these into the other chests, and I think everything should be good. I'm just I'm just coming out in here to make sure everything's getting transferred. Yep, cool. Okay, so that was kind of the end of our storage system. Uh, like I said, if we do do if we do use drawers, I'll do it. Otherwise, if we do like mob uh, items or something like mob loot. I might end up just upgrading one of these to like a netherite tier and then up putting a bunch of stack cards in it or something so we don't have to worry about um, that anymore. But, uh, but yeah, so... Boom. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Yes, I really, 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 really badly would like to get a core going uh, because I need it real bad. I'm running very low on materials and that's not a good thing. So, let's grab my two tools, my only pedestal. My only pedestal. I used up all my pedestals, almost all of my iron at this point. Um, and yeah, I really, really, really badly need to get some sort of mining going. So what we're going to do here, I want stone. I think I have some stone. No, oh, that's iron. There's some stone. Okay. Got some stone. I do need like more pedestals. Let's do one, two, three, four. Like that. And that. Got more pedestals. Awesome. Okay, so now we've got more pedestals. Let's put the stone materials back. I don't need the iron anymore. Cool. Turn that back into an upgrade filter. Or upgrade tool. For our mining run, uh, import, export, a packager, that. Probably some storage chests would be good. Maybe I'll take this with me. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll take the backpacks with us as well. We'll take those. Anything that can help us store more stuff will be nice. So we'll do that. Oh, do I want a f tag filter? I don't think I want a tag filter. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we'll be just fine. Okay. And then I should have a stuff for generator and power. Yep, I do. The quarry requires a little bit of power to run. So that's why I need that. What else? What else? What else? Um. Yeah, I guess I guess that is it. Hmm. I'm trying to. Th oh, you know what I could make. A void, maybe. A void upgrade. Uh, Ender Pearl Cactus Lava Buckets. Ender Pearl. Uh, cactus. Piece of gold, I guess, for uh, upgrade base. A lava bucket. That's one of those unfilterables, right? Question is, do I have any more lava? Ooh, I do have three buckets of lava. That's good. Okay. Let's go dump that. Let's go grab our lava. Boink. And then let's grab our tool. And you're probably going, why do I need a void? Uh, oh, right. Uh, I'm dumb. I don't. I was going to do that. Cool. 
Boom, 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 chicka wah wah. There we go, void, nice. Okay. What I'm thinking about... Oh, you know what I might do as well? I might grab a piece of stone. Just regular old stone. Boink. Okay. Actually, no, I don't know if that'd be enough. Do I have any emeralds by chance? I have one emerald. I think that would help. Actually, you know, I do have obsidian. Uh, that should be my stone chest, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, the reason why I want obsidian is... Pedestals has augments. Augments can be crafted. And what I'm thinking is, I want... One, two, three, four. Put that in my offhand. That's a speed augment. That's a tier four speed augment. We can insert a max of five into a pedestal, uh, which is nice. So, Goodbye, my precious diamonds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, investment for the future. Five tier four speed augments. Super expensive to do, but totally worth it uh, for what we're going to do today. So, let's throw that in there, that in there. I got my stone. I'm actually going to nab the... Tom didn't say anything to me in chat, did he? Nope. I'm going to nab the upgrade base off of here. Or upgrade uh, thinger. Yep. Okay. I'm going to need some filters as well. I just forgot about that. Um, I'm going to want... Yeah, I think some item stack filters would be fine. Should be fine. Okay. Ooh, unless someone use tag filters... Nah, that shouldn't matter. Okay. I think we will... We will... We will... We will... We will... We will... I think we'll be good. Alright, so what I want to do here is I want to go out in the ocean. Somewhere where we're not going to disrupt too much stuff. And we're going to do a quarry in the ocean. Which is probably a little bit insane, but... It's fine, I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. Actually, I may not do the the, uh, the one thing I was thinking of just now. Uh, I have boots that allow me to walk on water. Don't be don't be afraid. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do F3G. We're gonna get chunk boundaries here. I want to do a full chunk. Uh, eventually, there is a way that we can go with the teleporter pad to the Aldamodium dimension. I'm gonna have to go farm piglin. Uh, gold farm. I have to basically get a bunch of gold, go and find me a piglin that will then trade with me a bunch of times. So then maybe I can convince him to give me some all the modium nuggets. Uh, so not really an option for us right now, but I am hoping in the future that we will have one of these portals that I can, you know, go and reap the benefits of the mining dimension basically. Alrighty, folks, we are back, and I did a little digging. Basically, I found out the chunk border, and we're at the chunk, we're at an intersection here. And what I'm doing is I'm going to set up the quarry, and kind of how the quarry works in pedestals is two ways. As a block um, clearing area, and that's if you select like an area, like an AoE, uh, you can then clear an area with it. Or, it can also function as a ore miner. And how that works is if you select a one tall area, so as long as the area that you select... Oh, actually, i got to clear this up. Uh, so I'm going to grab two corners. This is the two corners of this like chunk, basically. So there's a corner there. And then if I go down this hallway here, there's the other corner. So if I grab that, that is a one tall 
uh, you can see the y value does not change on the, those coordinates. That is a one tall selection. A one tall selection will enable what's called quarry mode. This is like world leader mode basically. This will literally mine every block from bedrock to sky level. Um, and the sky level being ma like max build height basically. So this will mine every block um, up to max, max build height which is pretty crazy. Um, so you still have to keep the AOE area within the bounds of a pedestal. So we are still limited there. Eventually we will fight some withers and we will be able to uh, break out of this default boundary um, by using range upgrades. But until then, we have a little ways to go. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, roughly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough area to go there and yep reach all the way over here perfect so that is beautiful and then that should also reach to the end of the boundary here uh ooh, it might be a shy bit off i might have to move it over one uh, let's do this let's move it over this way so this way we go Make sure we go all the way, all the way up, all the way to that blue line. All the way to this blue line still. And this is shy of that. Okay, so I will have to put another pedestal up in here. Um, okay. Let me grab this back. So we do need to put it here for the boundary to work. Oh, I do need to move it up a block. Okay. Wait, what? Wasn't that going to be too short? Oh, I see. I, I see my blunder here. Okay. It needs to be here. Boom. There it is. Okay, cool. Nice, so that should cover this entire chunk, basically. Yeah, nice. All right, now I can't remember, can I put a pedestal here? And link it? Might be, it might be out of range here. It did actually link, okay, so I, I know the, the red border is not perfect when it comes to linking, I think it's, there's a slight discrepancy, like if you put stuff on the edge, it could technically still work. Um, like if I if I do this, even though it says it's outside the border, it still says it works. So I'm gonna go with it. Like I said, I think I think the render is off by just a block on one side or something. It's it's kind of weird. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows how math works? Um, okay, so that's not super important because I'm gonna break that anyway. The reason why I wanted to check that was I do have this generator I need to run. And so this generator is going to make mega energy for us. And then we're going to do... Turn everything off. Except for output at the top, auto output on. We are going to grab these upgrades here. Uh, which augments go here, I believe. So that now turns this into a furnace generator, which we'll throw some coal in. And then we're gonna reconnect that up to this pedestal, like so. I guess this so, okay. And then on top of that, I'm gonna actually put these five speed upgrades in this pedestal here. Actually, that might be too quick. I'm gonna put two speed upgrades in here for now. We might bump it up, but I think for now two will be just fine. Yeah, I think I think two will be fine for now. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a pistol like that. I'm gonna grab our magnet here and we're gonna set up the AoE for the magnet as this area. All the way over here. 
to, let's go like to that block. Just give us a little bit of height on the magnet. Oop, there we go. Bit of lag there. That should have given us alt to, yep, two, two destinations. So then we're gonna throw this over here, like so. There'll be a low magnet, it will pick up stuff. Uh, I will need probably some speed augments on that. So let's put the tier fours, let's put most of the tier fours on there. So I think having stuff picked up quickly is, is hugely beneficial for us. And then I think we're gonna do one of these things, export. Um, I'm gonna do two of those. And then I think I might actually put my diamond backpack here for now. We'll just place that on the ground. Uh, I'll have a pedestal go right to it because this is technically a block. And then we're gonna export stuff. And then here, um, we're gonna turn experience on, fluid off. Yeah, I think it'll be good. Yeah, I think that will be good, okay. We'll do that, that, and then this do that. Nice. And then this will go to here. Like so. But also, this will be second priority. First priority will be like making sure that experience goes to this guy. Packages and goes here. So that's linked. But then this is also linked to both that and that. So I wanted to make sure that this will send its experience off. So then we have our quarry. And I do have fortune three. I might just throw that there. Ooh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my other tool at? So I need my pickaxe back just briefly. Uh, yep. I just remembered, I don't know if I can get out of here. I can't, yeah, I gotta, I gotta make a little way to get out of here. And actually, I can go home. I guess I don't. I don't need a way to get out of here. Although, isn't there? Okay, I, I can drop down here. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Okay. So yeah, I will put my fortune tool back in there. Fortune would be nice for all the ores we'll get. And then, last but not least, here. Finally, we can put this guy down. Still has a selection. Uh oh, I don't know what I clicked there. Yep, still has a selection, which is good. And then if I go plonkers, it should start mining. It's definitely sending energy, so that's good. Alrighty, we're back. I figured it out. So the quarry mines like four blocks at a time, roughly, maybe five blocks. And so I was wondering, like, why is it not working? Well, it was working. It just, uh, bedrock is there. One, two, three, four, five. That's our floor. Um, and we were, I think, we were, uh, like, at this, we were, like, one block above this level. So it was actually mining out the floor below us while I was like, where's everything at? And that's also why the magnet wasn't picking up any items, because at the time, I had the magnet set up to only pick up at like this level and above, but since then I've I've reworked it, so it's actually picking up everything in this area now. Um, so yay! And then from there, I had a bunch of issues with the quarry mines from four rocks at a time. The pedestal magnet needed to pick up at most four different items at a time uh, before the next time the quarry triggered. So it needed to be at least four times faster than the quarry. Uh, so I ran into that issue, so I had to figure out how many speed augments to use, and I got that figured out finally. But then I also realized I'm mining a lot of cobblestone and deep slate, and that is killing my inventory storage space. So I added up, I added in the void pedestal we made earlier, and I filtered it for cobblestone and deep slate. Uh, so we're not getting any more cobble deep slate anymore, nor will we get like regular cobblestone. Uh, we will get stuff like tough. And I could use like a tag filter on this instead and, and then like filter it for like forged stone and forged cobblestone. And then we could get rid of just all forged stone stuff. 
but not terribly worried about that. Um, and then let me see. We set up that for compressing our experience, which I don't think we've had. I don't think we've actually compressed any experience yet. Oh, that's why, because it gets transferred there. <laughs> well, I guess when that fills up with experience, then we'll start getting experience uh, done up. But yeah, so it's doing pretty good so far. Uh, 12 iron, not great, but we do have like 20 diamonds, and I've made a total of 10 tier 4 speed augments at this point. So we've used up another like, so yeah, we've used up like 40, no, 50 diamonds. 50 diamonds? No, 40 diamonds making tier 4 speed upgrades. So the fact that we have 20 more on top of that is pretty nice. Uh, a lot of redstone in here. Uh, but yeah, so I think everything's working out great. The miner's going quite well. Uh, the, magnet's, the magnet's keeping up with everything that's being mined. And it's just kind of plugging away. So I set up a chunk loaded area here. So we have this force loaded that way. The pedestal doesn't chunk load stuff by default. I might maybe make an augment or something that could f make it chunk load. Uh, by default, it doesn't do that, but I could maybe do that. Whereas, like, the selected area of the, uh, of the upgrade maybe is all chunk loaded. Maybe I'd do something like that. I don't know. Something to think about for the future. Oh, you know what? Speaking of which, I should write that down as a possible improvement. I've been going through uh, as I play today and, like, writing down, like, certain improvements. Uh augment slash modification for upgrade to allow chunk loading cool okay so yeah that's something i'll consider for the future i suppose uh but yeah so oh yeah and then something else uh if the pedestal for some reason runs out of energy uh, that was the other thing, is the quarry going too fast means that energy gets used up too fast. And if the quarry runs out of energy while it's trying to mine that strip of blocks, it will straight up... Um, it will just straight up not mine whatever blocks it can't mine. Apparently, Pennies is doing a lot of <laughs> refined storage. And refined storage in this current version is bugged. Uh, we need an update to fix it, but we haven't, so I just opt Pennies so he could get his own silicon. Uh, bu 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 so yeah, so if it runs out of energy while mining that strip of blocks, it will just not mine those blocks and keep going. Uh, and if blocks fall on top of those blocks, then they don't get picked up by the magnet. So yeah, a little bit of a problem. In the future, the quarry will get a augment of some sorts that will allow it to magnet up the items at the block position that it mined. And at that point, we will no longer need this weird magnet at the bottom of the quarried area system. Um, but until then, this is kind of how the quarry is going to work. So it's not too bad. Uh, at max speed, it's pretty good. And if you put, I believe, capacity augments in here, the block amount of blocks mined increases as well. Uh, so by default, it's like four or five blocks configurable in the config. Uh, but then the capacity upgrades or capacity augments, again, this will be a modification later when I get that system implemented. But uh, capacity augments on there will actually increase the amount of blocks mined at once. Four for us is good enough uh, because energy consumption wise, I think our iron furnace is just barely keeping up. Um, actually, it is it is keeping up better than barely, uh, but still, like, it's still eating a lot of energy here. So I don't want to speed up the quarry too much and run into an issue where we can't for some reason feed it energy and then it starts being weird. So. But yeah, there we go. That's the quarry. Quarry done. Ding, quarry done. Uh, yeah, I guess that is kind of the end of the episode for today. We got the rest of the storage system set up, and now we're quarrying materials. So uh, eventually one of these days I'm going to get that telepad made. And then we can go, go quarry the all the mods dimension, which is a true mining dimension, uh, instead of eating up our world. So... So yeah, we'll see you folks in the next episode. Have a good day, have a good night, have a good afternoon. Bye.